Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2014. This guy is having some engine problems. His engine tends to stop suddenly, which is very dangerous, he's saying. Um, we'll just take a peek and see if there's anything right off the bat that we see. Which we're not really seeing a lot of anything, so we may have to just take this beauty for a test drive. His engine is stopping suddenly, which is very dangerous, he's saying. Oh, ran over a cone. Oh! <laughs> this car's got a little bit of power, man. The V6s in this game are crazy. That was kind of fun, though. Hopefully the owner wasn't watching. Okay, so we performed that test, so we're going to come in and we're going to perform this test here real quick as well. We'll check the electronics on it. Make sure he's not having some spark plug or ignition wires or ignition module failures. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Everything's green. This guy's got a pretty clean car. Wait, what was that down there? Nothing. His ignition wires look good. Ignition wires look good. Let's pull his ignition wires. No, he's got a... He's got all green spark plugs. Check the backside. Maybe it's a fuel problem. Yeah, he's got all good spark plugs. Okay, so it's not a it's not an issue with that. Okay, let's raise it up. Let's see if maybe it's an issue with his fuel. I think his uh, fuel pump is bad. Yep, fuel pump's at 20%. Let's check his fuel filter while we're down here. Change his fuel filter too. A fuel filter and a fuel pump coming right up. Fuel pump and a fuel filter. There you go. You should be all set, my young man. There you go. Have a wonderful day. Cha-ching! Some more money in our pockets. That one wasn't too bad, man. That one before was a pain in the butt. Perform a test drive. Find and eliminate the cause. My car started to drift to the right a few days ago. Could you do something about it? Probably got some alignment issues, man. You been curb shot in this baby?
Well, no wonder it drifts to the right. There's like cones stuck in the freaking tires. You really need to get that fixed. Pulling to the right, so we're gonna go straight to that right tire. Probably got some uh, alignment issues going on over there. That was a drive test and our uh, our in scan there. Perform a test drive, find and eliminate the cause. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything right here. Ah, there we go. Now I see something. We got a bushing bad right here. We got a single bad bushing right there. That might be it. Let's try replacing that single bad bushing and see if that's all it was. No. I want to replace this bushing right there. That's all it was, was that bushing. Man. Some of these things are really throwing some curveballs at me. They're making me tear apart everything for like a hundred pieces and then other things just a bushing. I noticed that there was a sudden decrease in power. I have no idea how to fix it. Can you help find and eliminate the cause? A sudden decrease in power. Well, let's take it for a test drive. It's always the best thing to do. Run your tests. We should need to run the brake or suspension test. Whoa. This thing sounds like crap. It could be an exhaust issue too. Maybe he's got an exhaust leak or something. Wow, the brakes. Look at this thing. God, this car sounds like garbage. Yeah, I guarantee it might be a uh, an exhaust issue. That's why he's got a sudden power drop. That's, uh, that's that's what it sounds like to me, unless that's just how that crappy car sounds. So we've already got right off the bat. We've got a uh, airflow tube for a V6 that's bad. Okay, let's go change the airflow tube since we know that that's bad. Seriously doubt that that's going to be all of it, but no. We'll check his air filter too while we're here. Yeah, 
Air filter's good. Okay, so... We got that one piece fixed. Ah, uh, the airflow meter is bad too. Okay, let's change that. Still not it. All right, so after uh, I've kind of tinkered it around with some stuff here, the last thing, I still can't find anything, but there's only one thing left that I am gonna try and do, and that is um, I'm just gonna try something stupid that, you know what, I, I put some oil in it in the beginning, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dump the oil out of it since it was like pitch black, and we'll kind of see if maybe that's what the problem was. Maybe it just needed an oil change. I mean, <laughs> You know, at this point, I, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss for words on this one. Let's go ahead and try it and see. Okay, what are we at now? Yeah, that should be okay. Put the cover back on. Oh my gosh. A freaking oil change. <laughs> oh gosh, that's frustrating. An oil change was all it was. Seriously. Perform a test drive. War replace all worn out parts. The steering's response is very slow. Can you replace it? Yes, I can. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Hope you guys enjoyed another great edition of Car Mechanic Simulator. We'll see you guys next time.